Mr. Drake, Colise, I was asked by the district to pick an inspiring student. And two years ago I met you and you were just an amazing, amazing young man. Yeah. Reminded me a lot of me and unfortunately that is uh, sort of good. But uh, no, and you've kept with it the whole three years you've been here. You know, you've had a lot of struggles at school and in life, but didn't let them get you down. And that's, that's what really, really got to me. Oh, <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it's special, the, the person that you are and will continue to be. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that we see that and not, you know, not just me. I talked to the other people at the school and they see the same thing in you. And I hope that you continue to inspire not only teachers, but your fellow students. Stop, Mr. <laughs> but, no, I just wanted you to know how, you know, definitely special you are that you are, you've done what you've done. And yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. That's just so cool to have someone that I looked up to in sixth grade and was like, man, he's the best. He's the bomb. Now I'm just sitting here being told that I'm just the best. <laughs> so I appreciate that. We got an email asking us to choose a student that inspires us yeah. and out of a few teachers mine was chosen mm -hmm. because I said that you were a student that inspired me. Yeah. So what I wrote, I gave many different reasons. Most mm -hmm. of it of course from the heart because mm -hmm. when someone inspires you it's because you think about that person and what the great things that they do for you. Mm -hmm. So the things that I said were because you're such a happy kid, you're always bright smiling cheerful and that makes me want to always be smiling and cheerful mm -hmm. so and of course when you're smiling and cheerful it makes people welcome mm -hmm. so i feel that because you do that it makes me want to do that yeah. and it makes the kids in our class hopefully feel better and happier too mm -hmm. and also just you're always so excited to learn and it makes me want to make sure my lessons are good that i want to teach better so it's just you inspire me so much. I'm just so happy to know you and the fact that you've shown me all these things as yeah. a kid. So you not just know that you're a great person and that you make me want to be a good person too, a good teacher. So yeah. thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so the reason you guys are here is because I wanted to tell you much, tell you guys how much you mean to me and let you guys know that you inspire me and um, taking this opportunity to say I love you and uh, this year has been an amazing experience not only for me but I know for some of you guys turning things around and we're just celebrating that together this morning. You know just to sort of recap what this year has been for us uh, struggling some of us more than others uh, helping each other out through those str struggles celebrating together whenever we achieve success um, and this little small victories that we had, to some of us having them big victories and breakthroughs in the classroom, out of the classroom. I got stories for every single one of you guys um, about how proud I am of you. And as I'm sitting here trying not to get all mushy and start crying, I'm gonna wrap this thing up just by saying, uh, whenever I wake up in the morning, um, I think about each and every one of you, and you guys are the reason I wake up with uh, a pickup in my step, you guys are the reason whenever I come to school, uh, you're why I do what I do, why I chose this profession. And I wanted to say thank you for inspiring me and thank you for, for pushing me to be the best I can be as we all strive to be the best for each other. So, love you guys. That's all I got. <laughs> Don't cry, Rome. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, just, just, that just sunk in. Let it out. <laughs> that just sunk in that we're leaving. Yeah. All right, I'm Ben Adams from Hemet Adult School, and I'm here with a student, Nancy Faraz. And Nancy has been my student for four years, and she has worked very, very hard. She left high school in 1967 and just recently returned to come get. 66. 66 to come get her high school diploma. And Nancy has really inspired me. We, uh, you know, just to see her embrace the challenge of having to, and wanting to graduate. 
uh, all the difficulties from her past that got her to this point. Some of the difficulties we had here is we transitioned from the GED to the high set. And so Nancy, I just appreciate so much all your hard work and staying so steadfast and so many other students just would have quit and not done it but you hung in there and you graduated and we're really happy about that thank you right i tried for 50 years good and i set my goal to graduate and i did it so we're very proud of you Oh, you're welcome.